Hey, this is Ray Band coming to you live from the world famous comedy store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Vine Four. Get up for Tony and Clay. Yay! Fuck yeah! Monday night, make some noise. Come on, seriously. It's the number one live podcast on Mondays at the comedy store in the world. Welcome, live audience. Come on, put your hands together for Brian Redband. He's hey here. guys, the king of sound. The maestro of Desistro. We got Jamie Vernon on the HD camera and mm. one of my favorite humans in the world. Everything's powerful with Jamie at, uh, at uh, Young Jamie. Uh, but the great Ryan J. Ebelt is here drawing tonight's episode on a blank sheet of paper. Look at that. Blank sheet of paper. Now all of a sudden he just started drawing tonight's episode. You're going to see that at the end of the show and you're going to be like, no fucking way he drew that while we were sitting there watching the number one live comedy podcast in the world. Uh, but it happened. RyanJBelt.com. He's the, uh, also the artist that drew. What's hanging in my living room? That. I'll say it one more time. What's hanging him? Okay. There you go. Really was going to just set you up for a good one there, Brian. But no, you take it. Uh, what's hanging up at... Oh, gee, wow. We're really excited for these sound effects tonight. As you could tell, Snoop just made an appearance. Guys... The Kill Tony poster, also at RyanJBelt.com. I thought, I thought that that was going to be the key word, and I was going to say that, and you were going to hit the bells at the same time, but... It did one of those things where I had my finger hovering over the oh, iPad, and it just went. Happened. That's funny. Sometimes that happens. It's spooky. With sound effects, there's like, if you make like a little mistake, it comes up quick, because yeah. everybody can hear it. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited about tonight. Are you guys excited? How many people, how many people have been to this show before by round of applause? Look at that. It's barely Great. any new people. You new people, you're in for a crazy fucking trip. Anything can happen. Hey, look who it is. It's Josh Martin, everybody. Yeah. Kill Tony, super icon. He opened up for me at the uh, Wilbur Theater on Saturday night. And if you're listening live on the live stream from Boston, I had so much fun with you guys. That was incredible. And Josh killed it for 15 minutes at the Wilbur That's Theater. That's great. He's at Josh Martin Comic, Blibbity Blobbity, Bloopity Blink. They turn out pretty good. Yeah, I saw that uh, Doug Benson was also there that weekend and Adam Carolla. Yeah, not only were they there that weekend, but they were at the same venue as me. One with the show before and one with the show after. Oh, Jesus. Let's just say, way to go, Wilbur Theater. Uh, <laughs> way to really spread around your podcast draws. <laughs> there was like literally like 70 people that were at Doug Loves Movies that were also coming to my show afterwards. Wow. So they're just watching this blowout on stage. But three hours later, they're supposed to have energy for me. Uh, luckily, they did. It was freakishly awesome. Boston's one of the craziest, most angrily fun audiences in the world. <laughs> <Right>. So <laughs> I had fun there. And uh, if you're listening on the live stream right now and you live in Australia, Buffalo, <laughs> Spokane, Washington, or New York City, guess what? I'm, that means I'm going to be where you are right now at some point in the next four weeks. I'm going to Australia on Sunday, Buffalo okay. this weekend, uh, Spokane, Washington, and then New York. And I'm going to be at USC 205. Anyway... What's going on with your guys' lives, huh? I'm sure a lot. <laughs> but I have to promote uh, the dates that I'm doing. You and George okay. Perez have a big... Uh, yeah, we have a show coming up at the Ontario Improv, and it's uh, going to be October 20th. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Some secret guests already confirmed. I'm excited about that. Oh, and we're taking the next two weeks off of Kill Tony. Oh, yes, that's a great thing to remember. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I, I am going to Australia for the next two Mondays, so the next two Mondays, for the first time ever, sadly enough, there will be no Kill Tony. But, 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 but. However, breaking news. Yeah, we got this breaking you news. You ready for this? <laughs> 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 there you go. We have, uh, we do this thing called the Bedtime Stories. It's Kyle Ray. Uh, he, we uh, just do a bunch of stories, and then we interview people. Uh, usually it's on whenever we're in the main room. Uh, Kyle does it up here in the belly room. But while we're off, we're doing two big shows of uh, the bedtime story. So we're going to just pimp it out with a bunch that of awesome I love that you got that out there. That wasn't even the breaking news I was talking about. Here's the real breaking news. is w Since we're taking two Mondays off for the first time ever in three and a half years of doing this every Monday, uh, we are dis we've decided that our next Kill Tony, which just so happens to land, on Monday, October 31st. You've all, you've all already guessed. 
we will be doing a special Kill Tony Halloween edition in the main room on October 31st. Two mega guests, and the rule is everybody from the wait staff to the sound guy to the guy that works the HD camera to the artist, everybody, including anybody who signs up for the bucket, has to dress up. Welcome to Halloween Kill Tony, October 31st. Basically, we're having a party here, a huge party on Monday night at 8, and yeah. so uh, dress up. That's, that's pretty much the thing. I already have my costume. I've been buying it piece by piece on eBay. So I, just, uh, I just got mine today. I ordered mine today. Yeah. I'm going to be Ken Bone. Ken Bone. Oh, sweet. I got a red uh, cardigan. I have a mustache and uh, some glasses. That's great. Okay, I guess I'm not going to be Ken Bone, guys. Uh, I thought that was funny <laughs> earlier today when I thought about it for a second, but not anymore. Let's go to the bucket before I even bring out the guests or the band. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's bring out tonight's... What do we do? Band or guests first? The band. I love, the, I love the band. I do. I really do. So much so that I almost forgot when to bring them up. But you guys ready to do this shit? One of the best bands in the world. It's the Kill Tony Band. It's Reagan, Watkins, and Joel Jimenez. Always coming out to something different and fun. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow, a special Rugrats... <laughs> Special Rugrats intro. <laughs> a lot of pubes hanging out of your diaper, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> quite, the, uh, quite the patch of pubes that you just tucked in there. <laughs> it was on the camera side, so whoever's... Wow, that was incredible. Sorry, Ustream. Rugrats. I love it. Welcome to the show, Rugrats. Hey, it's great to be here, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Fully committed. <laughs> wow, that's good. Special Rugrat sound effect board. Uh, Rugrat, uh, Rugrats, how you guys doing? I forget your guys' names. I'm good. I'm Angelica mid transition. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, just working out the kinks. Who's your uh, Who's your friend there, Angelica? Oh, uh, behind me is Tommy Pickles. And uh, I, I sometimes confuse Phil, Phil and Lil because they look so much alike. <laughs> I'm Pat. Ah, Pat from the Rugrats. Anyway, I'm excited about this. Is there any reason in particular? Normally, there's something very uh, like topical in the news that you guys do your entrance to. You know, there's so much mudslinging on the, the bay last night. It was kind of depressing, so we want to take, take the Kill Tony audience's mind off of it and remember the good old times when Rugrats was on television. Yeah, I like that. When they go low, we go high. <laughs> Well, yeah, I had, to, I had to wake my girlfriend up from a nap. I was like, I'm sorry, but can I borrow one of your skirts? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That is so hilarious. And you decided to put it on over your jeans. Everybody else went with the diaper. Is that what Angelica did? Yeah, she had leggings, you know. So. All right. <laughs> okay. I guess so. They wouldn't be able to show bare legs with a skirt. She was sort of like the cock tease out of the Rugrats, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, and I didn't want to kill Tony audience to see my pussy, so <laughs> I figured I'd wear some jeans, you know. Man, you've really grown up, Angelica. Uh, <clears throat> so let's meet tonight's guests, shall we? The band is in place. One more time for Reagan and Watkins, everybody, and Joel Jimenez. They're gonna be here all night. Powerful, powerful band, and always. Two of the funniest human beings in the world. We always have two unbelievable guests. Tonight, no different. Put your hands together for Jessica Michelle Singleton and Candace Thompson, everybody. Yeah. Candace Thompson, one of my favorite humans. Jessica Michelle Singleton, the newest paid regular at the Comedy Store, right alongside with the great Jeremiah Watkins, a.k.a. Angelica. You guys got passed at the same time, right? Didn't that yeah, just happen? Yeah, we did. That was great. Congratulations on that. Thank you. This is your second time on the show. Candace, this is your first. first. How do you feel to be uh, working with the Rugrats for the first time ever? I'm very excited. A little anxious. A little nervous. I like that. Got to poop a little bit, but we're going to get through this. Uh-oh. You got to poop a little bit, luckily. Mm -hmm. This is only an hour and a half, and you can't get up out of your seat. 
Uh, <laughs> so if you got a bucket. You'll be I do gonna, have a bucket. If you're gonna poop, you we we're gonna have a changing switch. You could throw on one of the diapers yeah. that the uh, guys. Oh, have nice. diapers, right? See? I love it. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Mm. Oh, you, do you kids find yourself some almonds over there? What's going on? I mean, we got hungry snack time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Pat. You look like you've been on a little heroin binge lately. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> You been do- what kind of drugs have you been doing? Oh, nothing. nothing, huh? I can't ever tell with you because you're the artsy type. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I feel like he always looks like that. Yeah, what's the difference? I always uh, uh, Pat's the kind of guy that you... <laughs> so cool. Gonna be, somebody's going to like write a book about him one Dude, day. Dude, Pat's eating al- almonds like he likes his sex. Raw. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Man. Angelica. Right there, and I swear to God. It's too early in the show to wah wah me. Oh, he's already done everything. He <laughs> blew the prices right. No, you did the wah 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 like in the first. <laughs> this is becoming like an old radio foley show. <laughs> it really is. Oing, oing, oing. Welcome to Kill Tony. <laughs> 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 really has been out of control lately. Yes, indeed, no doubt about it. <laughs> it's been like the volume is the. It's always the loudest thing too. It goes over everything. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? You guys ready to start the fucking show? Yeah. You meet the, we know the cast. Mm. Now for the crazy part. Uh, a bunch of comedians and uh, some insane people signed up uh, for the Two opportunity to get pulled out of a bucket yeah, and do 60 start. seconds on stage. Anything can happen. We meet very, very diabolical people. <laughs> Last week, uh, one of our favorites got pulled out for the second time named Aphrodite. And oh. she <laughs> is... Instantly, I am now a star of this human being. I'm now, I'm now a fan of this star. Like, it's unbelievable. Aphrodite is like a 400-pound black woman that just rubs her butt on everything. Oh, my God, she's my spirit animal. No. What? That's who no. I am inside. There you go. So anything can happen. Guys, you know how it works. You get 60 seconds, uh, comedians. You know that 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Little baby oh. cat there. Oh. That means wrap it up then, or else you're gonna bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> Very angry tonight. Very loud. Proving once again how loud that soundboard really is. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? You guys ready to start tonight's show? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Monday night. You guys can I'm do ready, better than Tony. that. Come on, make some fucking noise. Yeah. There you go. Good God. Sometimes you gotta smack them around, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, here we, here we fucking go. Uh, there's sort of a thing with this show where I sort of have a good barometer of when something awesome's about to happen. Just when I see a name that's written on a piece of paper for the first time ever. I'm excited about this because the name on this piece of paper, your first person doing 60 seconds uninterrupted tonight is Miss Lips? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Here she comes. Uh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Exactly how I pictured her. I love this. <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Miss Lips, everybody. Yeah. This is everything. Do I say something? Do I say something? Yes. <laughs> the clock has already started, huh? You have to talk into the silver part. It's on. You're yeah. good. You got 60 I seconds. I this Kmart-ass microphone. Hold on. <laughs> Shit. I like Walmart. <laughs> Bring it. I got three motherfucking kids I ain't seen in two months. I'm thinking I'm going to be a star in California. I done lost my goddamn mind. They waiting on me. 20, 18, and 8. Now, my 20-year-old, she ain't a hoe like me. I done came up in the world. <laughs> there is hope. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> right? Chicago. Don't you know, Chicagoans, and I think I got a couple seconds, like a minute, nigga, I done fucked and nutted. There you go. That's 60 before. seconds. Hi, Miss Lips. How are you? All Welcome. Right. Put your hands together for Miss Lips. Yeah, Miss Lips. Somebody find Josh Martin. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> we, it's the only show that's two all the... Uh, it's like for each list. Literally a podcast. We were two just, peas we for were each We were just talking list. about labia outside. Yeah. My we, mani- we manifested this. What the fuck did I just miss? 
Miss Lips, you got to talk into the microphone. It's like a whole thing here. Please. There it is. I don't know the rules to this shit. There, the rule of <laughs> everything is talk into the microphone. That's the first the rule. Handbook? Can we lose that buzz? I'd rather just... Can, we, can, you talk into, uh, can you talk into that mic? Let's you switch must something suck up. You way better doing? than I do because I can't speak into it. Can we... Oh, yeah, that's, that's real big. <laughs> you um, got it. I think you can it handle it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was black. I got happy. <laughs> I said, ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. I started feeling like the temptations. Talk to them. Okay. <laughs> All of them? Fuck yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least one, at least one person in the room's tempted right now. Hey. I like your style, Miss. Dick Lips. life matters, nigga. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> okay. What? All right. <laughs> what? Who fucking in here? Y'all really think California don't right be now? fucking? Miss Lips, the minute thing already happened. Stick with me All over right. here. Do your job. All right, because I gotta text somebody later. You gotta text somebody <laughs> later? Then what are you doing right now? That doesn't even make any sense. I'm, look. Miss Lips, look, focus. Stop hating. Over here. Stop hating. Come on, over stop here. Hating. I'm over here. Look to your I'm, left. All right. Stop hating. Look, look, look. Hey, what's up? Okay, dick sucker. Stop playing. Oh, wow. You are on fire. Hey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not the one with the name Miss Lips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. All right. Miss Lips, stick with me over here. Gotcha. How long have you been doing stand up? Oh, um, I'm from Chicago. Any Chicago's in this motherfucker? That's, a, that's an answer to a totally different question. <laughs> Sounds like a politician. <laughs> that's that Trump job. That's wow. like a, yeah, that's very true. What? We stay turned up from Chicago. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, how many times have you uh, done stand up comedy? Um, this would be my 15th time. I um, talked to a um, black mic like this before. You talked to a what? A black mic like this before. Gotcha. This VIP. Hold on. Careful. That's all Jeremiah has. You can okay. try the other mic now. <laughs> no, it's good. It's nice and black. All right. Let's Look, keep it. Let's do a little switch to roof of this comedian. I like it, Miss Slips. Hey. So, so you've done stand up 15 times? Yeah. What do you do um, for no, work? I, oh. I did stand up more than that. Oh. I just made them pull out before it was time. As wow. I said, is there anybody from Chicago in here? R. Kelly, look, don't R. Kelly me. Okay. 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 Don't pee on me. Okay. Oh my God. To <laughs> <laughs> <Did> Brian. <laughs> what? Oh wow. I fuck the shit out of SpongeBob while you playing. SpongeBob got a job every day. Fuck what you talking about. SpongeBob would be my baby daddy. I'm seriously concerned. Baby Where daddy. Are children? Yeah, Did you <laughs> sign up for the Jerry Springer show? What is going on right now? Oh, shit. I wish because you know Jerry Springer paid because this is free. Next time you see me, you will pay. <laughs> I don't hey. think so. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> hey, play that, play that. <laughs> oh. oh well, somebody uh, somebody took a note from the whole Aphrodite thing that I said earlier. I guess I shouldn't have leaked that info. Wow, Miss Lips. Yeah, what the over. fuck is going on? Look, have you ever have you have you come to the comedy store before? Yes, I just did crack them up last Thursday. Wow. Okay, yeah. so you did a book show in this room, well, and how did that go? I did a comedy show. Up how here. long have you been in Los Angeles? I've been here a month. All right. You Damn, don't, you don't are you giving me a job? <laughs> Definitely not. I can use yeah. some coins. Yeah. I don't like, think so. I can use some coins. Because I don't claim homelessness, like, but I'm on somebody's couch. Don't come at Miss Lips like that unless you got a job. <laughs> Hell yeah. I can't, wait for, right. I can't wait for Jeremiah to you be a sidekick right. on the Slip show. Get your life. <laughs> Get your life. Get your motherfucking Get life. Get it. Okay. Miss Lips, who pays you? Who pays you to do stand up? I am I'm, I'm one of those people that manifest things. So you okay. called me to be the first one is manifestation. Dig that. Oh, oh, she got you. Right. In layman's okay. terms, she's ah. a prostitute. <laughs> I manifest yeah. money out of my pussy. Ho, 
matter. Miss, miss Lips. Miss yes. Lips. Did you go? Were you at the slut walk the past week? Did you do the slut walk with anybody? I would never get on a slut walk. <laughs> I am not a slut. She's literally slut. jerking you off the microphone. Out. Didn't she come out and say she was a hoe? <laughs> yeah. I am very classy. Hoes make money. Oh. No, um, I need to holler at Amber Rose, you know. You Miss know. Lips, are you gonna a- talk about anything? <laughs> are you gonna answer one question? No, I'm honestly? just like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, nigga. Look. <laughs> Breaking news! I just got, I just got called the N word on this show. Uh, That's right. For those you of you made that it. it. We are live. <laughs> you have won your nigger card. Da, da, da. <laughs> there you go. Wow. That, I actually hey. felt that. I mean, hey, that back immediately. life matters. Right? <laughs> don't, he doesn't get one of those. Yeah, Candace no, is like, no, he doesn't. Make my I'm vetoing the nigga car. <laughs> Look, somebody going to be writing a letter to you, motherfuckers. Tony, I wish okay. I wish Miss Lips and I fell in love so I'd have to take her home to my family. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, what's this sweet girl's name? I'm like, Miss Lips. Miss <laughs> Lips Watkins. Miss <laughs> Lips. Miss <laughs> Lips, how do you make your money? It's her maiden name. Hey, y'all sound like the fans. What the fuck? Okay. I don't sound like the feds. Miss Lips, anything crazy ever happened to you in your real life? Yeah, y'all the feds. What y'all doing? What, what, y'all asking all these questions. I feel like shit. I'm having a stroke. Like, what? Wow. Don't be playing, because um, you put some juvenile on. I don't know. Hey, no, Tony. No, okay, let's not. maybe upgrade some shit. Yeah, Jeremiah. <laughs> Tony, are we all in the upside down from Stranger Things right now? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Stranger Miss Things Lips. reference. Any, any, uh, any, any. What you want to ask me? Do I got my? I've GED already tried that about seven Where times, Miss Okay, Lips, I got and, uh, my GED and my high school diploma. I got three kids. You don't need both. You don't need both. Wow, that's a whole nother level of dumb right there. Three, five, four, seven, two, nine, 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 six. What? <laughs> my, my diploma is three, five, four, seven, two, nine, nine, six. What? My pussy size is small, but if you got what it takes, it might go to medium. I got six GEDs. <laughs> hey. I got two high school diplomas. That's I got a right. master's GED. Because I don't let people tell me no. The G-O-D. Okay. <laughs> I got the G-O-D and the O-P-P. Wow. <laughs> and, and, of course, the E-B-T. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no. She's going to pull it out. Oh, shit. Uh, what you mean, honey? Everybody knows. Everybody knows that when you got a ton of money, money, everybody's got their receipts it's all crinkled up with them. Fuck I, yeah. I'm 20% Jewish. I don't know what he's talking about. You're what? I'm 20% Jewish. <laughs> I don't think that's very true. Oh, you dropped my Bank of America <laughs> money. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Damn, Miss Lips. I feel like with, Lips, with, 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 me, with, you? with your code name. I think and you guys are going to fall in you love. You keep calling my name. I'm going to be like Candyman on your ass. Between your stage name and You're your inability here. to answer actual <laughs> questions, here. I'm beginning to think <laughs> Tony you might Lips. be on the run. And by the looks of things, it might be the first I'm run that you've ever been you. on in your entire life. But I think you're on it. You know how long my tongue go down? Do I know how long your tongue go down? Yes. <laughs> this Honey. might be a kill Tony first. Wow. How did we find out? <laughs> I feel like I manifested this Listen. with a racially insensitive character life, I used nigga. to do in high school. <laughs> what? She came along. You gotta use what you got to get what you want. Why? Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, she's not wrong. That's yeah. right. I'm telling she you. Makes valid points. Women, we have more power, but we are idiots because we don't listen. Miss Slip, <laughs> what's she's your. Not, uh, you're literally not listening. <laughs> yeah, totally. Exactly. Probably, probably worse. And this keep on going down. See, I'm going to have to get on Miss my Lips. knees and talk Miss to y'all. Miss Lips, you've got to stop it, Joe. What kind of ecstasy are you on what is that has you know, calories I just, in I it? I haven't got... Please get off of your knees. Girl, oh, this gosh. this is a good position. No. What's wrong with you? Miss Lips. <laughs> no. Miss Lips, I think you've even outdone yourself. I thought white girls submit. See, black guys, see, they okay. lied. Miss Lips, Miss Lips. you got to relax. you got to breathe a little bit. You. That's how you become a complete... Butterfly dick sucker. You got a hole in your nose. You got a butterfly dick sucker. Okay, Miss Lips, th- we're going to move on. It was nice to meet okay. you. Okay, for Miss Lips. You had a great Thank set. you. Miss Lips, there she goes. My motherfucking knees hurt. There you go. Fuck yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, those big comfy breasts. Yeah. There she goes. They're like pillows. Miss Lips, go- you're going the wrong way. 
You're going the wrong way, Miss Slips. Miss Slipshit. Yes, yes. He gonna fuck this now. Oh no. There she goes, Miss Slips, everybody. Miss Slips. Miss Slips, everybody. You are wonderful. Miss Slips. There you go. She's still leaving. Still leaving. She's walking away. She's <laughs> walking away. Not dancing. She's walking she's away. Future. Nobody's paying any or real attention. Parents, hug your kid. The show. Oh she's my the God. poor man's version of Miss Pat. Wow. She is. <laughs> the poor <laughs> she, she, wanted to get, she wanted to get paid, too. She was like a... <laughs> she reminds me of like Tiffany Faddish or something like that. <laughs> That's what you get for crossing the boundary. <laughs> Jesus, oh, I thought for sure something was about to go down there. Oh, man. I mean, the, t the sight of it was one thing, but once you got the whiff of that four loco just in the yeah. air, just banging, <laughs> just Tony's reminding you of the mad dog, it's all happening. Let's just keep plowing on. Wow. How do you guys feel about Tony's that? Tony's uh, never been so hard in his I'm life. not okay. Yeah, that's true. Okay. At least we set women back 20 years in comedy. And black yeah. people. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> women and black people. Yes. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. This is another new name. Let's see what happens. It's Alex Edwards. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. Here he is, Alex Edwards. <laughs> All right, hello. Make some noise if you love sex. <laughs> yeah. All right. My girlfriend made that much noise. Um, <laughs> so uh, the sex has got a bit dull. Um, I decided to introduce toys into the bedroom. Lego didn't work. I was like, oh, oh, oh it's a pirate ship. Um, tried dirty talk, but apparently smearing my laptop in feces, watching some classic Steve Jobs, not exactly what she had in mind. Um, but I, c I haven't got time for sex now because I have to get up early in the morning. Um, so I get up early. Uh, to spend a bit more time in bed, I try and do more stuff in the shower. Get your mind out of the gutter. Um, so I shave in the shower, brush my teeth in the shower, uh, piss in the shower. My girlfriend doesn't even know the difference. Just two jets of hot water. Um, so the next step is, uh, before I go to sleep, I'm just going to put some cereal and milk in my mouth. And uh, hopefully by the time I wake up, I would have uh, masticated and digested it. Uh, so, yeah. If I don't come back, <laughs> if I don't come back, uh, I'll have died again. Alex Edwards. <laughs> so somber. Thank you. Hi, Alex. Hi. You're a normal human being, aren't you? I, I, I <laughs> you have common sense, the ability to listen and respond <laughs> at normal times and beats. Probably a little. We probably realize that uh, honesty is what's naturally funny and everybody's different. So if you just answer it with any common sense whatsoever, this is going to go really smoothly, right? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Because the entire format of the show revolves around that. <laughs> that <was funny> <laughs> on. The fact that we've even that. made it to this point, Alex, is quite a miracle. Thank you so much. Have glad to be where here. are you from? Uh, I'm from England. What part? Uh, from near London. How Oxford's. long have you been in America? I uh, Four days. Four days. Yeah. Oh, wow. Welcome. Wow. Um, Let me uh, ask you, you something. In four that part of four England days. where you're from, have they ever played the movie Indiana Jones for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, they have. So you've seen, you know that's a thing. I knew the hat was going to come up. I, I bought this today. <laughs> this, is, this was an impulse holiday purchase. Uh, otherwise known as a terrible idea. But, Don't um, try to assimilate to Los Angeles <laughs> with fashion. It will only hurt you. And it was from H&M as well. So Wow, a like, must-buy from H&M? Yeah. I came, I came <laughs> here a to one buy of something kind. from H&M. The only must-buy at an H&M is when you uh, like something terrible happened, like you broke a shirt or something, and you absolutely <laughs> must break, buy something at an H&M. Okay. Okay. It's next break. to the venue, <laughs> and you have 10 cow. minutes to get a new shirt. That's an H&M must-buy. A must-buy at H&M isn't actually... Look at my hair. This is, a reason, this is one of the reasons. I've taken to wearing hats. It. For a, a well You're overdue haircut. Alex, I've decided Alex. hats are going to be a thing now. Alex, go, go like this. Let's, let's yeah, un-British you. No, not no. no. Stop pushing but it forward. But not too much. This is what you creepy <laughs> Brits love doing. Watch this. Okay, well, I'm, we're, you're about to become an American. Oh, you ready shit. for this? Please, I'm so scared. Then? Take your hand and go like this, right? Okay. Go like this, this, and then yeah, yeah. at your forehead, and then go all the way. To the side. There you go. Great, now you're from Long Beach. Welcome to the show. 
fucking, even I'm impressed how well that worked. But I fucking knew it. You guys all saw that, right? I just invented that shit. That wasn't an actual thing. <laughs> I preferred Indiana Jones, <laughs> it so I'll like stick with Exactly stick with like that. everybody from, this is my first time I've ever actually been living in Orange County and, uh, <laughs> Alex. I mean, actually, that's Alex. fucked up. You'd have the Orange County voice. Um, let's get into it. What do you do for work? Well, I, I don't actually live here or in the UK. I live in Japan. Uh, Ooh, so yeah. it's just got a lot better. So there what you do you do for work? Uh, I'm a teacher. Oh. Y- you're teaching Japanese English? No, I'm teaching English English to... Um, <laughs> 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 I like <Whoa>. him. <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> That's going in the set, I suppose. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Proper English. No, yeah. I, I, teach, uh, I teach an international school. I teach uh, small children, like four years old, so it's, uh, it's all in English. And some of them are Japanese, some of them are, you know, very rich expat children who don't even know how rich they are. Um, rich what children? Expat children. They're expats, so they're people who live, they're from, like, America, we're we're hot blooded Americans. We don't know what that means. You're going to have to break that down. Oh, no. You don't know what an expat is, Tony? An expat. Is that an actual <laughs> thing? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of this yeah. before. Well, I think it was like expatriate. It's planet. Americans who live in other countries. They defect. Oh, great. But they oh, right, still yeah. are like, I'm I'll an be expat. in Australia touring my own one man shows uh, this Sunday, <laughs> by the way, for those of you that missed it. Well, Tony, I was going to say, if you wanted to <laughs> stop by to Japan. <laughs> we do mics in Tokyo. It's only about eight hours flight, so, you know. Perfect. That's no. about how long how I'd wait for an open mic in bring? LA. So, yeah. uh. <laughs> how many people does he have to bring? Uh, uh, none. You don't have to bring anyone. You can I'm going to get some x pox and invite some friends. X-Pox? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the whole degeneration generation pox <laughs> so, <laughs> Alex, how old are you? I'm 30. You're 30? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and how long have you been in Japan? Uh, about a year. About a year. Yeah, What's the lady okay. situation out there like? Hot Asian, You hook up huh? with a Japanese girl yet? Japanese. Have I, I, I had a, a Japanese girlfriend for a long time. I did, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Is that, did. do you yeah. introduce her? Yeah. Do you introduce her as your Japanese girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah, I did that. In case you didn't know. This is my Japanese girlfriend. This is my Japanese girlfriend. So, did you have fun when you were with her? Do they really have sideways <laughs> vaginas? <laughs> Have you been to the office? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. No. Have you been to the office uh, strip club in Tokyo? That, I don't know what that is. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know what the That's office. That's literally is. the only place the Red Band sure has been in Tokyo. Tokyo. <laughs> sure, he doesn't know where that is. What's <laughs> the most exciting thing you've done in your four days in Los Angeles? Um, Besides the hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Besides when you saw that must buy hat. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the hat was the big was the big one. I know, yeah. we went to, we yeah, I went to San Diego, it was great, went to the beach, it was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Warm water, loved it. Yeah. Yeah, no right. more exciting answers than that. Driving, driving a no, lot. I love it. it was, that was it. <laughs> yeah. What else are you Dri- planning wait. on doing while you're here? Is there anything, like, do you have any, like, special I wanna, I wanna, skills? Wait, I want to hear the accent, like, properly, because I'm speaking over you. Oh, properly. shit, they're having a Let's revolutionary war no, over here. here. All right, Alex, stick over here. Stick over here. So far, we're two for two on guests trying to host the show tonight. Hey, uh, hey Tony. <laughs> yeah. Tony, he reminds me of uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, but in- instead of having trouble finding criminals, he has trouble finding punchlines. <laughs> 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 long way, too long wake up, crowd. Just trying to joke. It hasn't been a joke in about seven minutes on the show. Okay. <laughs> seven minutes. Sherlock, he's like, uh, he's like Sherlock uh, Hostel. <laughs> All oh, right, okay. I got it. Instead of a... Uh, oh, boy. Red Band, you there don't you do it that? to your own. Hey. Stop doing that. Hey, where are the le- rest of the Libertines? That's actually pretty good. <laughs> the rest of the Libertines. It's a British reference. Alex, yeah, right. stick with me over here, Alex. Yeah, is, there anything that, uh, is there anything that you have, like, a special skill or talent yeah, or anything? Yeah, he caused Amy Winehouse's Besides death. <laughs> by doing drugs with her. Oh, Loving yeah. Her. Like she looks just like him. him. She was a saucy bird. And then the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to that crazy question I asked you. Do I, do, I have any, any special Anything talents? at all. Like if you had to excite somebody at once at something about you. He doesn't have to. He has a British accent. Yeah, that's it. I just do that. I'm actually quite boring. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Are true? <laughs> Are you uncircumcised? Yeah, that uh, that is, yes, I am on sex. I have a huge. I guess there are two skin. Huge Dally Wanka! <laughs> <laughs> Just as mostly foreskin. <laughs> 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 
Looks yeah. like a dolphin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. I like our improvs we're doing right now. <laughs> Teachers are creepy, Batty right, Batty Alex? Cool. Uh, you ever, <laughs> ho- you ever, you ever uh, like hook up with anybody or anything crazy ever happen in the teacher's lounge? Hook up with a four-year-old? I'd hope not. Um, no, so not with a four-year-old, you, know, you wacky, teacher. wacky Brit, you. The dog with, the uh, teacher. with the teacher. With the teacher. With the teacher. Yeah, you have a shag in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just a progressively worse British person. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone from words. two complete extremes of the spectrum so far with this show. You're the Miss Lips of the of London. Of, of the British. Of the Brit- yeah. yeah. Okie dokie, yeah. Alex. Big up. Hey, so do you have a big yeah. Monty Python? All right. I mean, <laughs> nothing's working at this point. <laughs> this show has jumped its own shark it's so far yeah. tonight. It's his uh, dick. I was asking about his got, dick size. Got it. Got it. Alex. Was Alex. Yes. What was that last question I fucking asked him about? It was a very a easy one. Any, uh, something about something about it's a definitive yes or no. Anything crazy ever happened? Any hook up in the teacher's lounge? Anybody ever do any drugs there? Anything like that ever? Anybody do any drugs in school? Yeah, I'm Not no. the fucking We're kids, good. Alex. You <laughs> literally tried and failed to make that this joke 45 podcast. seconds I, ago. I, I, I don't want to incriminate myself. Okay, fuck it. Alex okay. Edwards, there he goes. Alex Edwards. <laughs> Alex Edwards, there he goes. He's on Twitter. It's Sea Dog Make Funny. Miss Lips is at mi- Lips underscore Miss. For those of you that were wondering if she's on Twitter, that's Lips underscore Miss. She decided to flip it. Uh, that's what you do when you have both a GED and a high school degree. What we've learned tonight is obviously it goes they both ways, yeah. cancel each other out. So. It's like you have none. Okay. <laughs> this is another new name. I'm so scared. Anything can happen. This is what we've learned on tonight's show. But if comedy happened, that'd be cool. I, I would say, I would say at some point of the show, I lost control of this show. <laughs> I would say that, but I'd be lying because I don't really ever think I had control tonight. I think I was. Oh, oh shit! Oh <laughs> shit! Oh, is yelling, Hell no, oh my back. god! Oh no! I and said her name three and times. Now, you guys, you made her nay Oh shit! You guys made her there nay-nay. she goes. <laughs> That's just a nut. That wasn't. That wasn't even Miss Lips. That was weird. That was somebody else losing their mind. You've lost control of the crowd. <laughs> There's nothing going on here tonight. This is like going to be one of those. This is going to be one of those ones where the podcast is good, but I'm angry for the rest of the night. Of course, it's true. Tony, you're doing great. <laughs> we have one of these. About once every two or three months, it happens. We flush it out of our system and uh, we move on. We start over angry again. little Monday, Tony. Uh, it all end up, it'll end up carrying on to an angry set that I do later in the OR when I'm supposed to be working out new stand-up. I'm just going to call everybody peasants <laughs> that they have no idea who I am and what I do. A complete meltdown. I can feel it. But for now, we're just going to keep plowing through this show. This is another new name. I'm excited. This is my dream. I can't wait to see your set later. You guys excited? Because <laughs> this is a fucking new name. And I'm it's excited. also weird to the point to where I'm sort of scared. Put your hands together for Palave Gunalan. Hey. Um, I was on Wikipedia today looking at this ethnic slurs page because that's what I do with my time. And I feel like a lot of the slurs on there shouldn't even be on there because they're like too cute to be slurs. Like, wouldn't you want to go home and curl up with a little jungle bunny? Wouldn't you want that? <laughs> so cute. So cute. But I feel like uh, they got really lazy when they came up with all the rest of the slurs, right? And by they, I mean white people, because you know what you did. Um, <laughs> right? They just they got to the worst one, they got to the N word, and then they just added an adjective before it and applied it to all the other races, right? So for Arabic people, they, they had sand, right? This is a fill in the blank, you guys. <laughs> this is a choose your own adventure. This is a when I say sand, you say hassle. <laughs> I almost got you guys. I almost got you. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Indian, and so in California, sometimes I'm an, eth- um, a, an ambiguous ethnicity. So sometimes when I'm walking on the street, people yell slurs at me. Um, like, I'll be walking on the street with my friend, and somebody will go, Taliban, right? And that'll, s- that'll stop a conversation Keep with your going. white friend real quick, right? Because they're just like, oh, shit, that's rude. But also, I don't know what she does with her spare time, and she's really into tech. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Palave Gunalin, am I saying that? How do you say it? 
Kalani? You guys are out of control with that sex. You're an angel. <laughs> that, was ref- that was very refreshing. <laughs> yes. How do you pronounce your name? Pala Viganalan. Pala Yeah. Got that's it. That's what I cool. Said. You're awesome. Thank I like you. your style. <laughs> Thank you. How long have you been on stand up? Two months. Wow. Great. Very cool. Yay! That's awesome. <laughs> Getting the audience to almost say the N words. Great. <laughs> I love it. I love the risks that you're taking. And mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like there's sort of a thing with a uh, stereotype that this is just my initial thing. I mean, you've only been doing it two months, so whatever. But my initial thought is, like, it, it, the stereotype would be, like, Indian female comedians. And believe it or not, uh, you know, I've literally seen probably at least 10, 15, 20. And it always seems like they're very reserved and conservative and, like, slow, <laughs> slow playing stuff and not that very, man. like, going for it and you sort of have an energy and you're also edgy and they're normally like doing like math jokes and shit Uh, so that's really fun and you get confused for everything like probably, five. right? Yeah. I was I had another part of that joke. <laughs> Hold on, we have a spin off podcast. We were, sorry, we were <laughs> trying to, uh, for those of you that we want to join in. We were over here we counting, counting Indian the females Indian female comics. <laughs> and we were like, like Aziz? 15, 20, <laughs> and we were like Maybe if like Kamel Nanjiani put like a wig <laughs> on, we could count him as one. Uh, he's Pakistani. Just like so. open. <laughs> yeah, oh, see, we can't even count him. Well, we is, were doing. I was just being a dumb white person. Oh God! Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's like you guys even. Is anybody even listening right now? Is anybody even just breathing and like really soaking in every second of it all? Tony, this is when you you found out you died three years ago. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment. I was really looking forward to that Halloween main room show, too. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. You've been doing stand-up for two months. You live here in L.A.? Yep. You always lived in L.A.? Uh, no, I lived in like Pasadena and Glendale uh, back when I was in college, and then I moved away, and I just came back two months ago. You came back from Pasadena? Well, <laughs> I, I moved away I'm from going, my going, my back <laughs> to back <laughs> to 10 <laughs> miles down the street. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and then the Bay Area, East and then I Coast. moved back down. Wow, why Pittsburgh? Uh, I got my master's in Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, wait a second. How, how many, many, many GEDs is, is that? that? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's how writer's rooms That's work. At least like eight For you normal days. people that don't know, we do. We get all excited <laughs> like that, give like this final like arm high five that really you've never here. seen. You're like, what is that, a writer's high five? Yes, because we normally have pens in our hands, so you yeah. have to like... Fuck yeah, doing it. <laughs> it really is an actual thing. Uh, Pallavi. 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 Yeah. That's a tough one. Right? Paul of me, you'll never take Paul of me. <laughs> Okie <Okay>. dokie. <laughs> Whatever he said. <laughs> yeah, so what do you do for, uh, you, you got your master's, what do you do for work? Name. Oh, uh, still going for it? Going to save it? <laughs> Just throw it a life preserver? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I was explaining oh, in case that, people didn't understand. Now you're yanking it in a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> my boy, Patty <laughs> yeah, there. there you go. <laughs> Bring some closure to it. Okay. Um, you're I'm getting my PhD right now. <laughs> what in? Biomedical engineering. Okay, what do you wow. What's your day job right now? That just, I, oh, I, just studying for the PhD. For a PhD. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. How how disappointed are your parents going to be? Uh, when they hear this, <laughs> when a you lot. Tell them. <laughs> when you're like I did all that and now I'm going to be a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> how close are you? Uh, to finishing? Yeah. I just sorry, I just moved here for it. So it's going to be like 5 or 6 years. 5 or 6 years and Whoa. then what do you want to do with that? I don't know. Stand up? <laughs> Everybody keeps asking me like what wow. I'm gonna do, but I d- I like both, but I'm really enjoying stand up right now. So <laughs> we'll see. Man, that is one so of them pays awesome. a little bit more than the other. I I just think <laughs> it'd be so. We won't funny. tell you which one. I think yeah. it'd be so funny to wake up like after brain surgery and or during it even, <laughs> and the surgeon's just over you like, hey, say the N word. Yeah. Say it. Say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> Like, you could combine these two crazy worlds. <laughs> and somebody be like, what? Are I, I really supposed to say that? <laughs> I study neuroscience, and that's a test. They have to make sure you say the N-word to make sure it's working. This you almost had me there for a second. To say it. <laughs> 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 yeah, they, they say neuroscience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the N-word she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, tell them what it is. <laughs> I can say it. She Whoa, can say you, it. I, think okay. I feel like you basically just called her one by saying oh, it. Oh, shit. tell them what it is. <laughs> Why don't you say it, Candace? <laughs> Sorry. I can say it. Y'all motherfuckers can't. 
Oh really? I, I was gonna, I was I took Miss Lips thing to heart. I I, I thought the card that <laughs> she card, gave me was yeah. actually you good. I was I, gonna go use it I at the closest uh, intersection of thugs that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you fucking <laughs> Miss Lips said I could do it. That's okay. Oh, I have oh, this oh, card oh. from Miss Lips. The new local Are you talking shot. about Miss Lips from Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> we all just start sea walking and fucking throwing up gang signs. Miss Lips, more like Miss Crips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. Crips. I feel like we're all traumatized together. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so, Pallavi. 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 Still Pallavi. Yeah, her name's Pilates, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. I mean, how insensitive can you get? What is that? All right. Hot Pockets. Listen. I thought you were uh, great. <laughs> I like that. I like that you committed to your name and didn't do the thing where you get, like, an American name. I actually, uh, my Twitter is, like, an easier American name, but every time I open mics, I just, like, I spell out my actual name because I want them to be able to, like, read it and see it. And yeah. every time they hesitate, I'm like, it's me. So <laughs> what is, what's it. your what's your stage name? John I don't Deere. I don't have, like, a stage name, but Tina. My, my Twitter is, like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my Twitter is Miss my, it's, it's Miss Labia. Just, it's mid lips. The no, more um, formal, it's Miss Labia. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's Paul Gun eighty nine, and it's spelled like an American would spell Paul. So we're gonna get to that. Um, so you chose so a male name. Yeah, I don't know. Big okay. question I have for you: You seem like such like a Not to like a wholesome, smart person, <laughs> right? What's something crazy that you've done? Like, you ever get in, like, trouble or anything like that? Uh, I got in a bar fight, like, a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah! First of all, I'm excited about this. I think she Let earned me just the right to say nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. That card counts. Uh, Let me tell you, when you said a bar fight, I got in a bar fight. I would, totally thought you were about to say, I got in abortion. I, I, I did too. Right? There was a moment where I'm like, there's I mean, no <laughs> way. Yeah. She's about to fucking drop this. Like, yeah, like totally fucking. I mean, I might have. Bottom lost. puked out a baby the other day. I might have <laughs> lost it that night. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's get into this fucking bar fight, shall we? First yeah. of all, you're a neuroscience, like, double master. <laughs> so what kind of bar are we talking about here? What kind of, what kind of like, decked out uh, Applebee's are you... <laughs> Partying it up at Barney's Beanery. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When you hear the words Barney's Beanery, <laughs> everybody knows that's where the fucking party is. So let's break it down. Party always is, you know where you are? Motherfucking Barney's Beanery. Every Saturday. <laughs> Every Saturday, oh, wow. ladies and gentlemen. For those You're of you that thought I was fucking around. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So how'd this happen? Um, one of my very large friends Whoa. was <laughs> All right. very drunk. Somebody got called fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was really drunk and angry, and he was Drink picking a fight with someone, and I happened to be between them and also drunk, <laughs> so, so I didn't die. Two guys. Incident. Yeah. One of them a large man was the guy that the, the other one was also large. <laughs> your friend, the large man, picked on another large man at a Barney's beanery. Outside of it, after. So <laughs> we're <laughs> we weren't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the Barney's Beanery post 11 p.m. song. <laughs> that other song was the daytime Barney's Beanery. Yeah. So were you actually part of the fight or just like a between two people casualty like I bar think, fight trap? I think I was uh, I was trapped a bit. Craziest thing I've ever done is I once got accidentally caught in between two people fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I sound like. <laughs> you s sort of did. I kind of do. You're <laughs> very, you're, you're very not, you're very like un-Indian. You're like an up, Indian. I, I grew up in Utah. The correct term is not. Oh, that Indian. makes sense. That's like. I grew up in Utah, so. Utah. Right. That's why you have the wholesome vibe. Yeah. Are you Mormon? No, I'm not. <laughs> that would just added more layers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you got caught in between two guys fighting. How about? Yeah. So did you throw a punch? I don't know. Two fat guys. <laughs> you don't know? What, 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 you have a brownout? Uh, I... <laughs> that's a good one. You sons of bitches. Pretending like that's hacky. <laughs> like you've ever heard anyone call an Indian that had a blackout a brownout. All right, you guys can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> writer's room, writer's room. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> 
Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is so like you're saying you don't remember because you blacked out? Yeah, I think I like hit my head How? too hard. <laughs> you hit your head? <laughs> yeah. On, I mean the, the guy. On the ground? On the man? On Did you headbutt him? I, oh. I was like... There was a pile of people, and I think I got the worst of what it. Was your, uh, what was your was drink a pile of choice? Of beans, they slipped. I just was uh, beers, just whatever. Just beer? Yeah. No shots or anything? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think so. Wow. Yeah. How many beers do you stop remembering things at? Uh, well, that, I think I also got a concussion from the fight, so. Oh. <laughs> that, okay. It's like uh, very similar symptoms. <laughs> All right. Well, so, yeah. uh, let's face it. Getting caught between two guys fighting isn't that crazy. Okay. What's the craziest thing? you've ever done uh or like sort okay. of like what seems like something I, that you wouldn't do because again what would we it, let me put so it to I you this way w what would surprise us as a neuroscience fucking whatever the fuck that you've done she went to barney's beanery <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot uh <laughs> that's a student thing though yeah. keep um, going i have uh gone to the desert and exploded things with people. Now that's that not I surprising I at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. When you when you're talking about uh, when you're talking about <laughs> Oh shit. When you're talking about the desert and exploding things, are you talking about Boston and backpacks? No. No. <laughs> no. You have a quick phone I knew call this to make would happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that never gets old. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I went to an undergrad that was like kind of like not uh, people didn't really bother us with rules, so we we uh, we had this cannon, and we wait a second. What do you mean you had a cannon? You, you had, had a cannon. cannon? A cannon? The camera? A cannon? No, like a like cannon. A giant like a cannon. giant. Like pirate. Oh, like yeah. a real cannon. Like a real cannon. You it was made like it? part of school tradition. No, it was just like you on, bought one on eBay. No, it was on campus already. <laughs> right. It was an old tradition. It was there from like the 1700s. But people who had, still who worked. were in charge of the cannon had access to a lot of uh, gunpowder. So <laughs> we could just go to the desert and really, people who were in charge of a cannon had gunpowder. <laughs> well, they had yeah. They had powder. Oh, I'm so <laughs> confused. You would you would take the cannon to the desert no. to do this? You just took the gunpowder. We, we just took the powder. We would make shit out of it, go to the desert, gotcha. and, and just it blow it up. Yeah. What's the what did you make? Anything? <laughs> Pipe bombs. <laughs> did anybody lose what? any fingers or hands? Wow. All right. No, it was, I went to a nerd school, so they were all like really smart about it. So yeah. you could be irresponsible. Yeah, so totally. guys were like. So you guys didn't like explode like household. Like you didn't make a bomb out of like something that would be funny. Like a. So let's know, face why do I it. Think yes, toilets are funny. I'm a child. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Tony, Tony. They were like, she was like, instead of doing mushrooms in the desert, we'll do mushroom clouds. Started out well, right? <laughs> this was really good. It was really good for a really long time. And then, all right. Okay. <laughs> Is that like something her. that like nerds do? They blow stuff up. Do you get like hot for that? You get hot for like the science guys that like made the thing? Because let's face it, you're not the one igniting the pipe bomb, I right? Did. You did. Yeah. You're the coolest. How many? What's the guy to girl ratio this desert trip? It's just a big old sausage Probably fest. Probably like 60-40. 60, 60-40 40 guys, right? Yeah. So. Did you build the thing or yeah. you just lit it? You I built it. Oh, took so it out there, basically I you took it. a bunch of people to the desert and you made bombs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, it took a long while to get there. That's pretty perfect. You made pipe bombs and lit them off in the desert. Yeah. How much fun is that? So much fun. See, that's what we, that's what we should do. We should have hybrid. Instead of the comedians all going at once, the comedians and the scientists should have to mix. Yeah. On these uh, trips. Yeah. We're would in you, the desert, would you bring you civilians go? with you? Yeah, we, you would? we could bring you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Can I do mushrooms? Uh, a lot of a lot of people do. Okay. <laughs> were the scientists that you were with doing them? Yeah, uh, they all they all love like hallucinogens and stuff. Yeah, everybody smart. does. That's yeah, where the great. Thing. That's where the best science comes from. How do you think your ancestors got here? Uh, my parents came over in <laughs> 1981. <laughs> here she goes. With uh, <laughs> <laughs> a scientific explanation. Making a, all right. <laughs> She's like, so what a zygote. Nobody's with me tonight. <laughs> there are four shows going on at once, and, I, and, I, and I'm a huge fan of all four of them, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I just think when you play them all at the same time, it's sort of rough. If we, like, split these up, it's going to be great. You know what I mean? We like could actually do that too. The actual, like, audio feed, yeah. it's, like, totally. Yeah, they're all recorded on a separate track, so we can have, like, you know, different. <laughs> 
audio commentary options. I'm excited about this. So, so Pallavi, what do you ever? Uh, what do you do to this like? like uh, Kill Bill. Pallavi? They had to cut we it into two Pallavi. different. Oh, Pallavi. Wait. Pallavi. Oh, wait, it's so Palmolive, uh, what is your? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Did someone say my name? <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's awesome that you're doing stand-up. How much time do you think you have? You've like, uh, is that uh, the mo- that you, you basically did your most solid minute that you've written in two months, right? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. so. But I, I like, I'll go to a school from like nine to five, and then I come to mics and I bring like homework and shit with me so I can do it. Whoa. Um, I do like three to five mics a night, and I try to write a sketch a week. And I'm She's gonna wow. make it. She's gonna make it. Yeah, yeah you're gonna be. Yeah. You're great. That's amazing. Do you know how much time you have? Uh. Till like how much uh, like time like how what's the longest set you could do like with your material? Um, I've done like ten minutes uh, before. I think it's not as like tight as I would like to, it to okay. be. But yeah. that's incredible. It's great. You're a freak. <laughs> I can't believe we found you here two months into this entire like adventure because there's nothing that can stop you. The amount of excuses that I hear from comedians when they're like, "Hey, Tony, blippity bloppity, one quick question. Like, do you have any advice?" Who are you yeah. And the answer, one hundred percent of the time, <laughs> oh, I'll let you guys. Oh, no, no, you guys all do it real quick. Do your things. <laughs> blippity bloppity. Very good. Okay. Hey, all right. Tony. So back to it. Hey, back Tony. to. I mean, like, if it, okay. Yeah. What? So the number one piece of advice. What, oh wait. Hold on. It's happening. <laughs> Who wants it? is always do more spots and work harder. And yes. everybody's lazy. And she's doing more spots than you. And becoming a, what is it again? A PhD biomedical engineer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, had a but P- I had a PhD once, but I went to the doctors. Cleared up in a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Awesome. <laughs> Nailed it, Jeremiah. <laughs> so what else? Anything else crazy you want to say? Any um, advice for... Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to say it right. Pallavi? Pallavi. I think you're great. Uh, I think it's great that you work hard. I think that's really important. Uh, and you're pretty comfortable being yourself. It gets easier to be yourself on stage the more you do it. I think you're great. If you want to do this, you can keep doing it. I think you're very funny. Thank you. Jessica <laughs> gives you permission to keep doing it. <laughs> yes. Uh, that was I was so... <laughs> that's why I came to LA. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anything else? Anything? Uh, any other words of wisdom? Anybody? Yeah, yeah no. Uh, you funny. Thank you. you go. <laughs> She's great. You go. <laughs> but it's like... Re- but it real, real Simon Cow of Kildonia. Yeah. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't need to be a Simon Cow. She was good. You're welcome. <laughs> but I, but I'm just welcome. Sa- but I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, she's two months in, you know, young lady. Any Anything else? Uh, <laughs> don't two fuck Tony, no matter lady. how hard he tries. <laughs> just stating facts. Uh, no, uh, I, I think she's, got, I mean, for someone two months in, I think she's doing everything she can. She writes, she goes up. Keep doing that. Cool. Keep blowing Thanks. stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> do you yeah. Have any, Palavi, do you have any advice for us? Uh, yeah, that's really a good question. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do differently as the... <laughs> coming, <laughs> coming from a man in a diaper and a cross-dressing <laughs> man <laughs> to the left of him. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you have any mental health advice for us? <laughs> Yeah, you guys. <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, there she goes, everybody. Pallavi Gunnelin. Gunnelin. Pallavi Gunnelin. Gunnelin. Pallavi Gunnelin. Pallavi Gunnelin. Pallavi Gunnelin. Paul Gunn. She's on Twitter at Paul Gunn 89. Fuck yeah. yeah. It's exciting. What night. a relief. Joel Jimenez, uh, what's the uh, what, what's going on over there? How are you feeling tonight? Doing good. Just happy to be here, Tony. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. When did you put your boxers you on? Bo- <laughs> oh, I was wearing them underneath. I just under the wow. paper. Yeah. Well, then, then that makes it doubly funny that your pubes were hanging out at the That's very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> like out of everything you had tucked into your diaper, you <laughs> let your pubes just fall out of the side. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he has comb over pubes. <laughs> I trimmed them. I, I got a lot of attention after the last time, and I trimmed them. You're welcome. <laughs> what do you guys say we go to our regulars now and then go back to the bucket? Uh, just, just knock them out now. What? More bucket? Yeah, we're going to go back to the bucket, and then, uh, but that, we're going to do that after we go to our two regulars who perform and write a brand new 60 seconds every week, which people, that's not easy. It's fucking tough. Most grown-up comedians that you're fans of don't write a new minute a week. That's 52 minutes a year. It's tough. Point is, 
we're gonna we do it every single week, and it's Who fun to watch <laughs> them, uh, you know, grow, get go through shit, highs, lows, real shit, fake shit, fun stuff happens. We're doing it again. Your first regular going up tonight. You know her, you love her, Vanessa Johnston, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I don't I don't really fuck with social media, but like I know my place on it. You know, like there's a lot of hot girls on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm like an eight, but on, I'm a ten on LinkedIn. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> there aren't a lot of hot girls on LinkedIn, dude. <laughs> when you write your job title, you can't put "will suck dick for money." Like, trust me, I tried. <laughs> I actually did a search for hookers on LinkedIn because I wanted to identify who my competition was. And there was only like insurance companies. So I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? It must be so hard being a hooker and like entering the normal workforce, you know? Like it's probably so awkward, especially the interview. When the interviewer's like, so what job experience do you have? What jobs have you done? The girl's like, jobs, um, hand jobs, blow jobs. Uh, I've done all the jobs, like. All right, that one wasn't a winner. <laughs> That's, yeah. Vanessa Johnston, there you go. 59 yeah. seconds. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The Jobs thing, you know, that was, yeah. I thought you were but totally going to go Steve Jobs at, that, at, yeah. at one point. Yeah. Steve Jobs. I, I like that would have been good misdirect. If you're going to go that way, you got to have, like, something on the end. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like that's that's like actually a, a great idea. I do all the jobs, hand jobs, blow jobs, Steve Jobs. Like, I don't know. We'll see how you do it. You know, your delivery is interesting. I didn't get the insurance thing. Yeah, I just added that right and right that what, second. What 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 did it mean? <laughs> do you know what I meant? Or it was no. just is like it just because that's a lot of what's on LinkedIn? Yeah. Well, I, literally, because they didn't laugh at the when I did this before, people laughed at. I searched for my competition, so I was like, oh, I need to like add something, so I just made that up. But search. I searched it right before I because I didn't want to look because I didn't want to pollute what I saw and because I was like maybe there are hookers, but literally. There are people with the last name Hooker. Gotcha. So there's all these insurance companies with like Hooker Home Mortgage and Hooker Insurance. Well, and oh, like you gotta set in that, that case, up. Yeah. you'd have to say that. You have to that. explain yeah. it a little yeah. Yeah. Because that should... actually makes sense. Yeah. Now that you right. say it, I can like picture that. Yeah. Right. You should take out an insurance policy in case you have an accident where you're funny on stage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you know where to get one? And By Pat the way, is back! <laughs> These two, yeah, let me explain oh, okay, something Pat. real quick. <laughs> I need to get your guys. Oh, wait, can I just say something? Very, wait. Pat's been saying he's in a quick comedy for like fucking ever. <laughs> but he never does. He, he didn't just, wait. He had pre written? Because you can quit something you never joke? started. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It. It's all of a sudden right. turned into Rose Battle. <laughs> What's uh, happening? There's been this, this is what I was trying to stop everything for, but <laughs> Vanessa just went with her thing. Yeah. You had this thing loaded up. <laughs> and I interrupted it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, there's been an ongoing I'll thing. I'll see you at JFL where I'm a comedian and you're fucking a comedian. Whoa. Whoa My boyfriend's not a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a committed relationship for a year. He's not a comedian. Yeah, I'm talking about even years in the future after you put five more years into this. I'm never going to fuck you. I don't know <laughs> what's what he's happening. It up. Pat, you're just being Pat, mean why at this do you point. hate women? <laughs> 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 All right. I, I got to defend my boy, Patty Reagan, on this. You can't just blanket statement Spider Man web, why do you hate <laughs> women at a man? <laughs> And let it just solve all the issues right in his face. Let them go between each other. Don't blanket statement what the audience making Pat look like a misogynist. Why do you hate women. What? You don't turn this around on me, Candace. <laughs> Angelica, sit down. I'm defending my boy Patty Reagan up here. <laughs> Wait, what happened with you guys? No, there's just been weeks of back and forth yeah. where we like. Finally, I have my what? favorite part of tonight's <laughs> episode. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Because she's a hot woman. No, let's get it. I'm going to explain that to you guys. Uh, there's a thing lately there's the history. last few weeks where uh, we, don't, we're, we don't know exactly what it is, but there's a lot of hostility uh, from Pat onto Vanessa. <laughs> is it a thing? Is there a thing that is offstage? No. No, no we're fine. No, 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 not no. A no. totally not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just Vanessa only during the, uh, only during the live taped Van audience. Vanessa so. almost projectile <laughs> vomited while she said that. No. <laughs> <laughs> It would never have a thing with blue hair. Like, that's not a thing. Whoa. <laughs> now that is Shit. topical. No, I don't have a problem at all. See what yeah, I we're cool off stage. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Better we blue, hair, better blue right. hair than blue balls, because my patty boy gets it in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
You should uh, you should think of a job that's kind of like a hooker that you would actually find under, other than like an insurance company, like a Lyft driver or Is something that you like you pay for. And they do something, I, you know. I, I also think there's uh, with the LinkedIn thing. It's also if you're looking up hookers and there's there's something to the like. Oh, you're you have like a second connection to this hooker. So because yeah. there's like oh you know someone who knows this hooker and now you're seeing people. Hey, there's a hey, lot hey, with the Vanessa, LinkedIn. Are you, are Vanessa, you really Vanessa, on LinkedIn? Vanessa. Vanessa, yeah. hey Vanessa. But I have a regular because I have like a company. Like it's okay. not because I'm a. Vanessa. That's funny though because like super hot girls normally don't have jobs, so of course they're not. Hey there. Vanessa, I'd like to apologize <laughs> for just I feel like I said a couple of unnecessary things. All the first joke I stand by, <laughs> but I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize for just saying those dickish things. You okay. know you could have said that after the show, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, what is going on tonight? Yeah, Pat, why are you such a pussy? <laughs> Wait, what? You can't just throw the blanket, why are you a pussy statement at my boy yeah. Patty Reagan whenever you just said that he hates women? He doesn't hate women. He's just defending women right now. He just apologized for his actions. What's wrong with you, JMS? Yeah. I just apologized in public for no reason. I, I didn't need kidding. to. I was just feeling like shit. Yeah. I was over here feeling shitty, so I wanted to apologize. You know, you could have said <laughs> that after the show like, too. You know that, right? Yeah, I don't know. Man, geez, Pat, you want to wear my skirt now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Vanessa. I will say this: is that I love that I love that you are probably one of the only uh, comedians that can be self-deprecating you, while at the same time calling yourself an eight on Instagram. Like th- I think that that's really funny that that got a laugh, and I thought it was funny. You know, eight on Instagram, but a ten on LinkedIn. Like, so many people would immediately be like, oh, she's not an eight on Instagram. But it's funny that you get to, like, make jokes like that. What do you mean they'd say she's not an eight on Instagram? She said she's an eight on Instagram, but a ten on LinkedIn. Yeah. Right. I think it's funny that it's, like, self-deprecating in a way to call yourself an eight on Instagram. Which is, like, Which such is a great thing. Great. To, like, I would kill to be an eight That's anywhere. exactly my point. I'm a yeah. five in a toilet. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. <laughs> there you go. That's why she's the newest oh paid regular, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, Vanessa, that was awesome. There you go. Well, New stuff. You. Vanessa, anything else for Vanessa? Uh, no, I, I think that's a great premise. I think you can really dig into yeah, the LinkedIn thing. Yeah. There's a lot deeper. there. Yeah. yeah. Find out what really happens with the LinkedIn thing. You know what I mean? Like, like you like what, what, what you said about the actual name matching the thing, like, mm-hmm. take, it, take us through the thing. Can't, uh, if you're actually doing your research. Like, if you say you're looking for hookers, yeah, I mean, that's just, they already said it, but, like, the, I, I found hooker horm, home mortgage. Maybe you, like, try to apply for a job there because they're... Up yeah, you don't know where it could go, but... And they're like, ma'am, this is an I insurance w- company. This is just an observation, but wh- when she when she got personal, that was the most successful part of her, her set. So, yeah, I like that. From one girl, <laughs> from one there she goes, Vanessa another. Johnson, right, ladies you. and gentlemen. There you go. Next comedian. On to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is. You know her, you love her. She just turned 21. Oh, the great up. Ali Makovsky. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I went through a religious phase in ninth grade. Uh, a lot of my friends who were popular were like super Christian, and I was like, that's all I need. So uh, I started going to the to the youth group every week, and like it wasn't working. I wasn't popular, and then they told me about this camp over like a, it was like a week long sleepaway camp, and I was like, "This is my time to shine. I'm gonna be popular. Maybe I'll get some smooches from some Jesus boys. It's gonna be great." Uh, and none of that happened. Instead, I just got baptized. <laughs> And I came back and I was like, what am I doing? I'm Jewish. (laughs) I like Drake. I've been listening to Drake a lot lately because I'm a white girl and that's how we form personalities. (laughs) Thank you. And uh, I like Drake, but I think he says the N-word a lot, you know. I'm just like, for a half black, half Jewish guy, I wish he would say kike. (laughs) (laughs) Boom! Allie Makovsky. Yikes! Wow. It's incredible. 
Another great set. Another killer minute. Thanks. It's like the Minnesota Vikings being 5-0. and Like, I'm wondering when this is going to end, this hot streak that oh, you've been on. Oh, it's going to end soon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Just going to be bombs from here on out. I love that Drake joke. Is he really half Jewish? Yeah. 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 Wow. His name's Aubrey. How Jewish is that? <laughs> really? His name's Aubrey? Yeah. This is why Aubrey we can't, wow. can't have a nigga card. Because <laughs> I didn't that. know he was half Jewish. Yeah, everybody uh, that, knows uh, that. Let me explain. I think I should have the card because I thought he was all black. I thought he was. No, black. that's exactly why you no, can't. How the, dare that's you? That's the whitest thing anyone has ever said. Do you hate Give women, Tony? Card. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know uh, Drake was Jewish, guys. That's why he's so sensitive. <laughs> Is that why? He has so many feelings. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, because because <laughs> black people don't have feelings. I'm gonna be honest you know. with you. I like Drake. Hey, <laughs> black people or something? You don't think they have feelings? No, we just pretend like we don't. <laughs> I like Drake. I and I uh, I I'm a little disappointed that I found out tonight that his name is Aubrey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of street cred out the window. Did you know he was in Degrassi? Yeah. What? Super popular what? Canadian TV show. Tony's world oh, is yeah. shattering. Right now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he just looked at Ali like. He what played did you wheelchair. Just say? Tony, <laughs> yeah. Please don't cry on air. On don't air. My you favorite. say on that air. again. <laughs> on on. Wait, Mike. did you really Put watch that and didn't know that was him? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> You definitely I lost I, the card. I thought I thought I knew my Drake. Wow, wow. that's wow. crazy. I you're ma- you're making no new friends after this. <laughs> ah, he doesn't get that reference. Yes, I definitely do. Just setting up for another song. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now I can't do it. Um, Allie, what else is going on? What else happened this week? You still working at a movie theater? No, I got fired from that. I don't oh want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> Why not? No, we need to know how someone gets fired from a movie I, theater. I yeah. talked about it like th- like two weeks ago. Uh, I was unprofessional. Previously on Kill Tony. <laughs> 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 I... Uh, yeah, I just he is, he did we talk is, about it? What was the yeah, short yeah, end yeah. of it? Well, I got fired for being unprofessional, and I was like, I didn't know that this was a profession. <laughs> that was the joke. But what happened? Uh, yeah, what was the unprofessional part? Well, that's the thing. Like, she couldn't answer. I was like, how am I being unprofessional? And she was like, well, you're on your phone. And I was like, yeah, there's a lot of downtime. <laughs> Give me something to do. And then and then she was like, also, you don't seem excited to be working here. And I was like, that's just how I talk. Like, I never sound excited for anything. <laughs> and then she had she had a monotone voice, too. So when she was firing me, it was like, we got to let you go. <laughs> oh, wow. And then, and then she was like, I get it. Because I told her, like, I was very clear. I was like, yeah, that's how I talk. Like... I just, uh, that's just how I talk. Like, you hired me. I wasn't like, hey, I want to work at a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> like, she knew what she was getting into. And she was like, it, she was like, I get it. I also have the same voice. I was like, then fuck you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, letting you go. You so know? You, you basically awesome. just fucked up free movies for all of us. Yeah, I did. God damn you. Allie, yeah. have, you, have you ever been to a haunted house before? Um, every day. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, I've been to a haunted house. I just imagine the people dressed up as monsters being really disappointed when you're like, oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, another chainsaw. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> wow, I just pissed everywhere. <laughs> that is awesome. Anything else for Allie, guys? Anything, anything? What are you guys thinking? Really funny. So funny. Always oh so funny. You're God. great. Allie's the do you best. Think, can I make a comment? It was you, really funny. You, you should never quit. Do you, do you think that, that <laughs> like, the last... Do you think, because she's been on a hot streak the last few weeks, that in the back, every week, Vanessa's just like, this bitch. <laughs> 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 she's uh, new and she's killing it. <laughs> Nice boob stretch. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Red yeah. Band laying dormant the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for a good boob stretch Only, comment. only speaking through the board all night. Oh, Bye, Mom. God. Oh, my God, boobs. <laughs> 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 
my mom is watching this and she's probably going to text me right after and be like, don't talk to Brian. (laughs) There she goes, Ali Mikofsky, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. One of your new favorite comedians in the world. She's a freak. You guys got to keep your eyes on Ali. You guys got to take care of her. We will. She's good. Especially those boobs. Freak. Oh, she's, I I love Ali. She's great. Yeah. And of course, Vanessa too. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Of course. (laughs) We look out for all the ladies. Exactly. There's like yeah, a we gotta stick though. together, right? Where you at, Miss Lips? Yeah, oh, I think she sure. left. <laughs> She's already back in Chicago. Yeah. Wash your lips, ladies. She went to Chicago. She went. <laughs> Getting that deep dish she pizza, might. you know what I'm saying? She may need back to Chicago. <laughs> Who wants to go to the bucket one more time, huh? <laughs> Woo! Fucking in half a show tonight. I pulled another name out of the bucket. It looks like another new name, I do believe. Put your hands together for Addison Tom or Thom. Addison Thom. Yes. Hey. What's up, motherfuckers? <sighs> Give it up for our panel. <laughs> First, I thought this was like the 20 year reunion of Teen Mom. We're red. Ba- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I uh, I just moved here from Las Vegas, and dating in Las Vegas is different. A lot of my bro friends always ask me, "Hey man, how many strippers do you date? You date them often?" And I always respond, never, for more than nine months. Because let's be honest, a pregnant stripper is not supporting all three of us. <laughs> so now I'm single again. And dating. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, just to let you know, Addison, before you have any, uh, before you get confused at all. Those people laughing were laughing because the joke was so terrible <laughs> that Jeremiah had a spit take, and therefore they all laughed at Jeremiah. <laughs> I heard you say thank you after that big laugh happened, yeah, and I don't want you going you. to bed tonight thinking that you did anything <laughs> with that, that, that teen mom joke. <laughs> Whatever you thought that was going to be, it doesn't work. The show existed before you were pulled out of the bucket. The show going to be back next week. Well, not actually next week. We're taking two weeks off because i got to go to Australia. We also need to breathe after to this. Recover. Yeah. To recover. We need to recover from this. But, uh, Addison, the teen mom thing, what, 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 what were you thinking there? Does that mean you think that I look like someone would have come inside me? Because that would mean everything to me. <laughs> uh, no, mostly I was just like, I like your style. Where are you from, Addison? I'm from Las Vegas. Legitimately. Las Vegas. You yeah. born and raised. Hold your mic up a little closer uh, to the face. North Carolina, born and raised. But How long were you in Las Vegas? It in really Vegas, rubbed off on you. Let me Vegas. tell you that first of all. You seem very uh, Vegas. About four years. <laughs> well, it's the tight forth, t-shirt. Yeah, like four, four years. Back and forth. Yeah. Four years. I nailed it with my answer. Correct? Can you say no, it, it into like, the microphone? It was, like, it was like 10 years. But yeah. Oh, 10 years. All right, perfect. I mean, you totally just said four years a second ago. But then when I made you look like a douchebag. You changed it to 10 years. It happened very quickly. Luckily, this is a recorded podcast that some people are going to actually rewind right now and go watch it. I know for a fact what was said because I'm like a fucking home plate umpire up here. (laughs) The mouse of weirdness is out. Uh, Addison, what's the douchiest thing you've ever done? Besides this. Besides this, yeah. (laughs) Besides what? The first joke. Because you're like the human version of the bottle that glows at the club that they bring out, you know what I mean? With like fireworks on the side. I, I hold all the sparklers and yeah, bring yeah. out the champagne, yeah. Yeah, you look like you work every position at a nightclub. <laughs> like, you ID people and then you jump behind the bar and then you throw on headphones and like hit a song and then you just do it again. Like, you can run like a one man club. That's what you. <laughs> Seem like to me. He he looks. Most of my songs are just me raising my hands, changing headphones. Right. He yeah, looks like he's had that. his arm stuck in many vending machines. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Why? You know when something gets stuck and then you stick it, you try to stick your arm I, up. I, I love what you're saying. It's so funny, but I don't know. If it, I think that works on anybody, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you're so funny, Jeremiah. Oh my god, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, Addison, did you answer my question about the douchiest thing you've ever done? Ten years in Vegas is why I'm asking you. I mean, I've lived all over Chicago. Vegas, oh, shit. You ever hang out with Miss Lips? <laughs> <laughs> At a Barney's Beanery? I actually hire her for private security in Vegas. She's great. Um, Dude, one time I took a shit in a baby's crib and blamed it on the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love this character. <laughs> Douchier version of this guy. Man, anything 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 else you've ever done? We got to wrap it up unfortunately. As soon as I find a fun running thing after an hour and a half, we got to go. Anything else? Whoa, Addison, Jesus, relax. <laughs> I got so we're wrapping it up, but I'll uh, Okay, we do have to go, actually. You can't go. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you back up there. Any other parting words? I'm sorry we had to rush off, but we're at the end of the show. We ran out of time. Anything you want to say before you go? No, thank you. Okay, there he goes. Addison Tom. Thom. He's on Twitter. MMA Money Lives. MMA Money Lives. MMA Money Lives? He's yeah. so Vegas. Wow. Look how cool that drawing is. Oh, my God. Why don't I actually look as good as that drawing? Ryan Chae Belt is a freak of nature. He made that happen during tonight's episode. All those prints are available at RyanJEBelt.com, including the Kill Tony poster. Powerful Jamie Vernon on the HD camera. Watkins and Reagan and Watkins uh, and Joel Jimenez. Joel yeah. Jimenez is at Mostly Sorry. Jeremiah Watkins. At Jeremiah Stand Up. Uh, hit me up on social media and at Patty Reagan on Twitter. Josh Martin Comics. Watch the Eric Andre show. Yeah, definitely do. I've been seeing little clips, and that shit's fucking amazing what you guys are doing now. I want you guys to, like, win an Emmy or something crazy like that. I'm fucking serious. You guys are, I feel like you guys are hitting a new stride, even though I've always liked the show. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, Josh Martin's on Josh Martin Comic. Uh, Jessica Michelle Singleton, what's up? I'm at JMS Comedy. I'm touring South Africa next month. So if you're Whoa! in South Africa, wow. I'll be in Durban, Cape Town, and Johannesburg. Southern Hemisphere down in South Africa. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Candace Thompson. I'm at Jokes by Candace on social media. And uh, watch Greatest Ever on True TV. That's yeah. picked up. I'm doing some, writing some episodes on it. Watch that. I love these ladies. Great job on the show tonight. I love everything about everybody that was on the show. Jeremiah Watkins, I got to give you a special shout out. So many huge home runs during this episode. Nailed it. He's got that new paid regular confidence yeah. that's creeping out to his skin. <laughs> so oh does Justin yeah. Michelle Singleton. Brian Redband, live audience. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Jamie Vernon, Jamie Vernon. Thank you.